Last lap stats and chats. Hopefully y'all haven't taken care of yourselves because uh, coming in at our number 11 spot, the streets are banging tonight, okay? Let's go for 11 likes on the video because I uh, shout out to the homie Davido for adding me in the situation, guys. Uh, because this story is truly wild, guys. This is how GTA Online runs on the Xbox One, man. This is truly sad. You're telling me that the fat Xbox One is having strokes right now? Uh, oh my god, oh my god. Even the fat PS3, don't take a picture, guys. It's a precious boy. Smash like button for the precious boy. But man, this console generation, what it didn't have. It had the GTA 5, it had the the, the, the Halos, the, the, the Black Ops 2. Man, the PS3 and the Xbox One days were the, the good old days, and it's definitely is sad to see them having strokes like that. Oh my bad, it's Xbox One, not 360. Guys, it is time to move on to GTA 6. And in fact, we got our first screenshot oh, of GTA 6. I'm gonna be showing you that in just a little bit, but check this out, right? Two days ago, the homie came out over on Reddit, says that fun fact. Infinity War just buffed a barrel that doesn't exist in the game. <laughs> now the story here is that Activision has hired Infinity War devs. Three years they had and they hired 3,000 devs. And those 3,000 devs made this game by the name of Modern Warfare 2. A lot of people were shaking when they revealed it. A lot of people were doing helicopters with their release, but at the end of the day, who really is doing helicopters with their release? That's the Infinity War devs. They're out there jumping around and apparently the, the story here that it's, it's just crazy, bro. That That is crazy. I, I just cannot even compute. They dropped the patch notes and usually we have the, the Call of Duty shows. They love the patch notes. They're always like, oh my God, guys, I'm gonna be covering the patch notes. Oh. We got new updates, right? And, and this story is just ridiculous because I have yet to see any Disney Call of Duty channel cover this. And apparently they say that they have improved damage range recoil control on LM Nebula barrel but here's the thing that doesn't exist in the game That's right, it is not in the game. And to Bruh. that quickly after, the, the talks to gamers went in ganging style. We have our Reddit investigator said that the bots and DMZ probably have it. It's what makes them so deadly, lol. Lamau makes sense. You, sir, stop making me laugh. Damn it. Uh, 3,000 devs, bruh. 3,000. Chad GPD, dude. And apparently the, the other conspiracy here is that a lot of people are now starting to believe that this game was not made by the devs. This is why it, it has been so bad because this game has been made by the AI. The recent, the, the new map they, they ended up dropping has also been made by AI. That's the conspiracy going around. I need your thoughts on this one. And now people are believing that the patch notes we get, it's not written by human. It's basically Chad GPT doing their thing. I mean, I mean, damn son. But speaking of doctor, 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 this, 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 respect, 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 respect. Apparently he came on and he ended up revealing his brand new game. Roll it. Before those sirens go off, that Before rising the, freeze. The rising freeze starts at two minutes. Minutes two every minutes. match and that's deterministic it's always going to be two minutes um, there's already we're trying to strike that right balance of how much in the game is there uh, a sense of you know randomness to a degree and also how much in there is deterministic things that happen all the time that players kind of account for and as a dev team we're always trying to take that into account happen all the time he said and after he revealed the gameplay people got mad people were angry and a lot of people just went in ganging style and understandably so because people are just looking at what they have put out but dr disrespect and his team they actually responded to this situation they said that this is a pre 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 alpha and that is correct right this is pre pre alpha uh they have the concept ready they know what where they want to go but what they have revealed doesn't hit the homies in the juice one but again it's a pre pre alpha graphics might be good later on but you guys gotta understand the reason people are criticizing and the reason people are made because apparently doctor disrespect doctor 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 this 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 respect 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 did say that this game is gonna be blowing call of duty out of the water it's gonna look better than modern warfare 2 when they reveal it huh. And apparently this is how the game is looking like, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know about that one. And also, Dr. Disrespect's new NFT FPS game. And yup, that is true because uh, Dr. 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 Dis, 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 Respect, 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 Respect has uh, publicly confirmed that this game is gonna be having <laughs> NFTs. And he went crazy. He went bozo. He started calling out people that were against the idea of NFTs. If you don't like NFTs, well, too bad. You can suck on a big one. You can go pound sand. You can go kick rocks. And personally i love doctor he has a great character nothing against doctor and the fact that he's making a game credit where it's due am i making that game 
you know, it's very easy to criticize, but obviously when you're gonna come out and say that it's gonna be blowing Call of Duty out of the water, and uh, and if the game looks like this, and on top you are promoting NFTs, you're shilling for NFTs, then obviously people are gonna, gonna question that, right? I wanna know your thoughts on the situation, because if you wanna play the alpha, it is $25. Right? Do you wanna pay $25 to play this? Uh, le let me know your thoughts. Also, shout out to the homie Terran for adding me in the situation, because he actually added me in the situation by saying that somebody broke when garbage and uh, you know what the, the funniest part here is that i've read so many of your guys comments you guys are saying that dead drop or i should say van garbage is looking like a masterpiece in front of dead drop oh! and for this story we have a disaster okay don't be rolling your fat doobies around guys because several youtubers involved in billion dollar lawsuit after promoting the ftx oh, maybe you heard the story maybe you heard the story and you couldn't even compute maybe your brain left the building maybe you didn't have that brain power to compute because i was there yesterday because i just didn't realize what was happening now to make it very easy apparently ftx is a trading platform where you can buy crypto you can trade crypto guys if you don't have knowledge just stay away okay it's uh, it's better to invest that in some other where you know you're gonna be making money but if you got like more money than god if you're like activision if you're an activision employee and you're making benjis you're seeing money coming in like a tsunami then maybe you want to dip your toes into it but don't do that right because the moral of the story here was that ftx was a training platform for that cryptocurrency and essentially it disappeared overnight and a lot of the youtubers and this is gonna be a shocker guys prepare for impact you might be subscribed to some of these channels out there which is sad because i am to four of them meet kevin graham stefan andre jeremy financial education i, I love this guy uh, for the the news and whatnot but but damn uh, all of these youtubers quote unquote were shilling for this essentially they took the sponsorship to promote this app ftx they told their subscribers to trade their money and i haven't seen those ads so i'm not sure how hard they were pushing i'm not sure what exactly they were saying you know but they apparently took the sponsorship promoted this app and a lot of people spend their hard-earned money on this app called ftx and then coffeezilla came out and he said that breaking youtubers promoting ftx are being sued in class action lawsuit claiming one billion dollars in damage Die out, kid! Die out. Yo, bro, can a brother get like two pennies? Wait. Forspoken development reportedly cost over $100 million. And this story just came out. And let's keep a buck 50, right? $99 million uh, from that was definitely spent on all of those uh, freaking dragons and all of those freaking lines that we had in the game. Let's keep a buck 50, guys. <laughs> also, Microsoft ended up getting bumble clapped because Microsoft got asked to reveal. Activision Blizzard deal exclusivity plans and Call of Duty agreement. I mean, damn, son. They are still on this situation, bruh. Can a brother perhaps get the GTA 6 reveal? Can a brother get to have GTA 7, LA Noir 3, maybe Black Ops 10, maybe Halo 50 out there? Can a brother perhaps get new games? But nah, guys, it is all about Call of Duty. They're chasing that pom pom, they're milking that pom pom, and they're gonna be milking that pom pom till it sucked dry, okay? Bruh. The investigation of Microsoft Activision Blizzard deal is raging on. And now the FTC is asking Microsoft to reveal any exclusivity plans that they may have along with their Call of Duty agreement. Oh, so they're shit. simply hitting them up with a bumble cloud and they're telling them, you better reveal what you're gonna do with it. Otherwise, we're gonna come for you, big boy. They're basically threatening. FTC is pointing their fingers. They're threatening them. They're saying that we're gonna be shoving both of these fingers right up your bum hole uh, if you do not reveal what you're gonna do with Call of Duty once you actually acquire Activision. Because if you do not tell us, this deal is not gonna go through. So they're kind of like asking. And understandably, they're asking them because apparently, you know what? Their words, not mine. And they're in fact even asking what are they gonna do with Zenimax and exclusivity content that Microsoft proposed to acquire from Activision. But check this out, the FTC has filed a complaint against Microsoft for refusing to provide requested documents after 24 requests to do so. Oh, shit. And quickly after, man, the Xbox, uh, the, the Sony ponies went in gang gang style. Microsoft is like, I'm not showing up. Uh, didn't they get mad at Sony for just doing this? 20 for request feel right now uh, let's hope this deal gets blocked man poor ftc Limo. also resident evil 4 reviews are in everybody's giving them <laughs> 10 out of 10s and it's kind of understandable because uh the game is looking good and obviously we're talking about this game being a remake uh, but i want to know your thoughts does all of these reviews 
10 out of 10 does it sound believable to you one in the chat if it does sound believable to if not uh the the metacritic however is sitting at 95 maybe it has dipped down to 94 maybe a little bit give or take but it's a very strong number it's a very good number and admittedly as somebody who has never played any resident evil game i've seen face dev actually play for 15 minutes and i i actually like the the look of it so i might pick it up i might not we'll see and also this following story is sad so viewers discretion is advised lance reddick uh the star of games such as destiny and horizon passed away at the age of 60 today bungie came out a lot of the the studios he was involved with they came out and they shared their condolences his cause of death has not been confirmed as of yet and the crazy part here is that he was in john wick he is gonna be in john wick 4 and john wick 4 is about to come out and uh if you are a fan and you or you're gonna be watching that movie it's gonna be a little bit weird and it's gonna be strange seeing him uh, in the movie while knowing that he's not with us it's uh life is uh life is a mystery guys so definitely love your loved ones i know it's i know it's cliche we say that all the time but the fact of the matter here is that uh we do not know when we're gone right so gotta gotta enjoy this uh gotta enjoy this life guys but coming in at our number one spot this is something i cannot show in this video because i did show in this video the dead ass no cap we have our very first image of gta 6 i risk showing in this video check this out before it's taken down i cannot risk showing that in this video i can only risk showing one uh, i mean i think it's fine but click on this video on the screen or click the video on the left because dr disrespect went mid check these videos out guys and i will see you right there